that I feel in my heart that my dad sacrificed himself to save my brother. The daughter of a slain jewelry store owner believes her dad took a bullet to save a loved one from a gun-toting robber. A man shot and killed 71-year-old James Minshall inside the Omaha business he worked hard to build. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. I'm Jennifer Griswold. Tomorrow will mark one week since the tragic shooting at JR's Jewelry and Gifts. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Megan Matthews is live at 72nd and Jones. She sat down with the family tonight. Megan. Craig, Jen, Jim Minshall Sr. would have turned 72 in October. This has been a very tough week for this family. His daughter told me tonight their loss still doesn't feel real. I want my dad to be remembered for his smile and his generosity and his amazing heart. Tracy Bland couldn't fight back the tears. It still hasn't sunk in. She'll never hear her dad again. It's still hard to believe that he's gone, that he's not coming home. I can sit here and I can hear his boots on the tile coming through the front door asking what, what are we having for dinner. All that's left of Jim Minchell Sr. are photos and memories. His granddaughter Willow points out her favorite picture. This me, there's Papa, me, and Mimi. The last six days have been a blur for this family, filled with heartache. And I told her, I said, even though you can't see him, he's with you every minute and every second of every day. Tracy said last Wednesday started like any other. Her dad left for the shop at 7.16 a.m. Hours later, she got the life-shattering call. Never in a million years did I think that that would happen to my dad that my dad would be murdered. Those are two words that should never be in the same sentence. An attempted robbery at their family jewelry store gone wrong. Jim Sr. had been shot twice. I think he was trying to take the eyes off of my brother because my brother was standing at the counter. Tracy believes her dad sacrificed himself to save everyone else. It's just who he was, she said. He may have not taken any of our rings, any of our jewelry, but he took the most important part of our family. Tracy says the family has been overwhelmed by support they received from the community. And you can see just piles of yellow flowers here, Jim's favorite color. She is just amazed at how many lives have been impacted by her father and that his legacy will continue. Tracy hopes the jewelry store will be open by this Saturday, the 27th, for the community. We're live in Omaha tonight. Megan Matthews, KMTV Action 3 News. Just tragic. Thanks, Megan. The